I really want to start with a sincere thank you. I love these movies and I know how much effort it takes to make these movies. And I just really want to thank you for everything for you and Chad for making these. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um, you have done this movie has, again, insane action set pieces and you've done them in all four movies. What where do you rank? like some of the sequences, like what do you think is like the top three in terms of the difficulty and everything that went on behind the scenes to pull them off? Are we talking about just chapter four? No, I'm talking about all four movies. What do you think? Oh my gosh. Yeah. What do you, what do you think? <laughs> uh, but I'm just curious, like what were you ranking like the difficulty in certain sequences? Uh, let's see. Uh, the first one that comes to mind was the horse sequence in chapter three. Um, I would say just as the first time, the assault sequence in chapter one, I would say the dance party fight in chapter two, and I would say probably it's a tie between the Arc de Triomphe car sequence and the stair sequence at Sacre Coeur. So one of the things that blew me, I, I, my jaw was on the ground in chapter four with the sequence in the Berlin Club, because you have all these extras behind you during the sequence. Dancing. It, it's it, to the lights. Yeah. Like it's, it's crazy because for people that don't realize when, when you think about an action scenes, there's yeah. never other, there's not a lot of extras because right. of the, the choreography of what it takes. Yeah. So can you sort of explain to people why that sequence is so, so hard to pull off? Yeah, it's a nice detail. Uh, well, you're dealing with space, and also you're dealing on the strength of the people who are in the background in the sense of committing to it. Like, they had to, like, keep dancing or be in the moment and kind of just ignore that fight scene that's going on around you and in front of you. Uh, so that kind of cooperation, uh, keeping the kind of moment alive and feeling authentic, uh, so it's really just practice, run throughs, people getting used to the action around them. And actually, Chad uh, had gotten professional dancers and seated them throughout the background. So there was people who knew their bodies and movement and spatial relationships. And so these kind of pods kind of, I think, made this tertiary kind of connective kind of world that I could weave and Scott Atkins and I could weave through as well as the other stunt performers. Yeah, by the way, Scott disappears in that suit. It's yes. it's crazy. It's amazing. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. Like everything about that sequence is fantastic. Um, I have one minute left with you. So I want to ask about a few other things if you don't mind. I'm going to do, sure, it, quick. I'll do it quick. You told me a little while ago that you were thinking about directing Berserker. Uh, I don't know. The script just came in. It's at Netflix waiting for notes. We'll see what happens. Constantine 2, as you know, we've spoken about Constantine at least a few times. Yes. Cannot believe that a sequel might actually happen. What's the status? Um, DC World reevaluating whether or not they want to do uh, a Constantine with me in the movie. So fingers crossed. I, I understand because it's because there's a lot of changes going on. I'm hoping it could be like an Elseworld, Elseworlds title, you know, where it yeah. just exists. Yes. So do I. <laughs> My last thing for you. What are you actually filming this year? I have no idea. Oh, you want like you you really are just I'm I'm looking for work. I will pass it on to many people. <laughs> thank you. Sir, thank you so much for your time and seriously, congrats on this movie.